Welcome to the VAO Data Discovery Tool. In this video, I'll show you how to locate and download astronomical data from around the world. To begin your search, enter coordinates or an object name here in the search box at the top of the panel. In this example, we'll search for data near the Eagle Nebula. We can specify any search radius up to 2 degrees. In this example, we'll choose 45 arc seconds. Now the spinning icon indicates that we've started our search of the thousands of astronomical data resources available. The Eagle Nebula has been resolved to sky coordinates and the sky display has moved to those coordinates. As we start to receive data, we see the progress bar indicates the percentage of resources that we've searched and how many result rows we have currently. As the search progresses, we will receive additional data rows. We can refresh the result table at any time with these new result rows. And with the search about complete, we'll refresh the table one more time and take a look at the results. We see that there's three major types of data that we get back. We get catalog, image, and spectral data. If we're interested in catalogs, click that button, and now all the result rows show catalogs. We can see what wave band and records found as we scroll over to the right. If we're interested in a particular resource, we can click on its information icon to show the details. There we'll see a brief description of the data along with a link to a website for further information. If we'd like to load this data into the tool, we simply click the Continue to Data button here in the Details panel or in the original result row. Now we can see we've got 252 catalog objects in these results and that they're now displayed in the sky. In AstroView you can zoom in and out using the scroll bar or these plus and minus buttons. You can also drag the display to pan around the sky. For this example we may want to change the color of our objects. We can do that here. Now we can see them quite well. To narrow down our search results, a variety of filters are available, including these numeric filters, such as for B magnitude and V magnitude for this resource. Notice that when we apply a filter, not only does the result table change, where we're only now displaying 129 out of 252 rows, but the sky display also updates. Scatter plots are available for numeric columns via this charting button. We can plot any column against any other column. And then we can select items of interest that we find from the plot. Notice that these selected items are selected here in the scatter plot, on the result table, and in the sky. An additional filter is available that allows us to show only the selected records. Once we've narrowed down the data as we wish, we can export any table via this button to CSV format, VO table format, Excel spreadsheet, and so on. You see that we've now downloaded the CSV file for this table. Back in our original results, we can also look for images. So we select the image filter. You see we have images from a variety of sources. Let's take a look at the Spitzer data. So now we've got one row for each Spitzer image available. We see it over here on the sky. If we zoom out, 
that we've got the footprints displayed for each of those images. By selecting a footprint in the sky display, the corresponding images are also selected in the results table. If we'd like to download any of these images, click on the information icon and click download. This broadcast button allows the image to be downloaded and automatically displayed in a VO enabled tool such as Aladdin. This concludes this video on how to locate and download astronomical data using the VAO Data Discovery Tool.